Hi, it's uh, Pete Shaw here from Code Gurus. Um, there are situations when you want to maybe adjust uh, a single sound uh, in the unit and uh, we've had a lot of questions of uh, how we do that and uh, a very very quick way of adjusting uh, the tone of a sound maybe we want to mellow the tone of a particular instrument for a particular piece of music that we may play um, so I've just actually took uh, a piano sound uh, here that we've uh, previously edited in a, in a previous video uh, Paul uh, did a, a nice uh, little adjustment of a piano sound and he added uh, what we call sustain or release to the sound uh, to allow you to play it. So this was the sound that we uh, edited a few So we added the release there um, uh, instead of actually using a damper pedal on the floor so we're actually having a, a nice piano with sustain. Uh, but I want to actually mellow this sound, I want to leave it as it is but I want to actually mellow uh, this sound out and a very quick way of doing that uh, is to literally uh, press the menu on the panel uh, and then if we go into track controls uh, you'll see on the screen that we've got the upper one which is selected there and I'm just going to do a very very quick edit of that particular sound and I'm going to make that piano much mellower with one change and that is this uh, little uh, button here the control and it says cut off uh, there's a view, various um, sort of um, things you can do with the sound, but I'm just dealing with this one rotary control and it's called cutoff. It has um, uh, a value of naught at the moment, that means it's just at its standard position. But if you want to mellow the sound of that piano that we've got, we're going to actually adjust the cutoff down to a minus figure again. So let's just try, just before we go to, to change the figure, we'll just play the sound again. Let's adjust that cutoff to a minus 40 and listen to the, the same sound exactly with the cutoff minus. So you can hear it's much, much mellower. And I think that's a very quick way of adjusting sounds. And of course, you can adjust. Uh, lots of different sounds um, as well. Uh, so let's 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 try a different sound altogether. Now let's try a maybe a, a flute from the woodwind section. So we're going to, to woodwind section. We're going to concert flute D N one. So the standard sound of the uh, flute would be this. Quite a bright flute with a, quite a lot of the uh, breath control. I want to mellow that down, so again I do exactly the same by adjusting the cutoff frequency down to a point. Uh, obviously try it, try it different cutoff points and try it till you're happy with the sound. I'm going to sort of drop it to around about 50, 55 maybe, because uh, I want it quite mellow this time. And uh, again the difference. You'll notice though that it's actually lost its breathiness and just brought a very, very mellow flute. And of course, when you actually uh, have, have adjusted your sound, as of previous videos, of course, it does make sense to actually save that into uh, a, 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 a keyboard set. So again, uh, with the same uh, that we've uh, dealt with before, touch the little arrow in the top right hand corner of the screen and as you can see right at the top there you've got right keyboard set to library, go into that and save in the normal way. Thanks a lot.